We gon' ski ski, we gon' ski. We gon' ski ski, we gon' ski. Hey, we gon' ski ski, we gon' ski. Hey guys, what's popping? What's cracking like you? And hope you guys are good. As you guys just saw, me and Natalia, how are you doing? <laughs> Visited this beautiful gallery right here, okay? We just came out, we got rushed out because we came late and um, they were closing. So we literally spent like 10 minutes in there. Literally, as soon as it hit six o'clock on the dot, they were like, get out. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go. We actually really enjoyed it. Who knew that going to a gallery would be so enjoyable? Cause it's like, you just get to walk around and look at the art and just appreciate appreciate the work that people have put into creating something especially and especially this one as well it's by yeah. um I think it's Cause New Fiction, that's the name yeah, of the exhibition. Yeah, Cause New Fiction, yeah, that's the name of the exhibition. Not the name of the exhibition, the name no. of the, the artwork that's in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was really cool, so we're definitely going to be coming here more often. It's not far from church, we're in central London, and um, there's actually meant to be, this is the south side of the exhibition. The north. No, north side of the exhibition, there's a, there's a south side, so we're thinking maybe next week Sunday we can book for both the north and the south, and just make a day of it after church on a Sunday. We just had a cute little time in the gallery something nice to do something different something different you know mother daughter time on a sunday okay g-wagon okay, so yeah we're gonna head back home now natana took some cute Porsche. natana i'm trying to talk <laughs> natana took some cute pictures i didn't get a picture because i'm wearing the wrong outfit for True. inside there because i'm wearing beige and inside there is like white walls and then the the, the art you guys saw and it kind of clashes when you're wearing white against white walls it just makes makes the pictures dark so I have to remind myself to wear darker colours against white walls in a gallery kind of vibe because there's no flash photography you can't do flash so yeah I wonder why why can't you use flash I don't know I actually don't know I no, why, don't why can't you use flash I actually want to know I'm gonna google it <laughs> I have no idea, but I really wanted to take a cute picture with the artwork in my super dry jogging bottom set, you know what I'm saying? So comfortable and so nice. Oh, well, apparently flashes can damage the pigments in the paintings. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. They're sensitive. The pigments in the thing are sensitive to light, so it causes chemical reactions which cause them to break down. So you can literally ruin the whole yeah, artwork. I never, thought, I never thought the answer would be that, you know. That's crazy. That is wild. Yeah. Good thing that we literally didn't try and take any flash photography before we get kicked out. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? But yeah, let's start walking because it was such a, it was a bit of a walk to get here. A bit, a long walk to get here. <laughs> it was a bit of a long and walk. And they were trying to tell us to walk through the pitch back park, and I was like, no. Literally, the direction on Google Maps to turn us to walk through Hyde Park at Hyde this Park. time. Yeah, this is Hyde Park. No, this is Holland Park. Oh, Holland Park. <laughs> um, oh no, but over that side is Hyde Park, no? No, Hyde Farther Park. Up is Hyde yeah. Park. Sorry, we're, my bad. We're past Hyde Park. <laughs> <laughs> my bearings are all wrong. But um yeah, I was trying to tell us to walk through the park in this pitch black night time. There's no street lights in the There's park. No street lights in the park. Black. Just black. I was like, no, we are black <laughs> and we ain't doing that, okay? So we took the main road, which was kind of like going around the park, but it's better to be safe and walking on the main road where cars are walking by, um, driving by, I should driving. say. <laughs> <laughs> then walking through a, a a dark park at night time so yeah now we've got to do the walk all the way back to the station i'm 100 percent coming again let me even book it now yeah book it book it book it it's actually so good if you guys haven't been to a gallery 
um i don't know if everyone's really interested in that kind of stuff like going to a gallery and looking at artwork and stuff like that but honestly i thought i didn't know i was going to enjoy it as much as i did like it was actually a really nice vibe even though you we were only there for like 15 minutes because <laughs> they we got there towards the end and it was closing but um i actually really really enjoyed it like it was a really nice time i feel like if i was there for longer i would have enjoyed it a bit more so yeah that's why we're we're booking it again for next week so hopefully if i'm vlogging next week um on sunday i will show you guys a bit more i'll show you guys when we go to the other one as well the other exhibition mate they're literally fully booked until february well, we can go to the south one the south one's not um fully booked no the north one we just went in is fully booked until february oh wow oh wait no next week is february never mind yeah next <laughs> week is february yeah oh wait but they're sold out on the 6th because the they Sunday. literally yeah they're sold out on the weekends oh no i'm even not gonna be here where are you going? I'm going on my ski trip. Is that next, next week? week? Wait, it's the 6th of February, next week, Sunday. Yeah. Is that where you're oh going? my gosh, I'm going skiing. Oh, why is that? <laughs> what, mama? <gasps> I'm going skiing. Okay, so guys, next week I am off to do some skiing with Patricia. Yet again, lastminute.com holiday booked. You know how Patricia is, guys. You guys should know by now. Every holiday vlog is literally lastminute.com booked. <laughs> so yeah, I'm supposed to be going to, um, uh, is it Switzerland? Geneva in Switzerland, I believe, um, with Patricia next week, Sunday. So we're gonna have to go to the gallery another time maybe the following sunday it's only for a few days so um Wait, but this 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 exhibition here is only available until the 27th so you're going to be back by then yeah it's only a few days <laughs> from the 6th to the 9th you, you could come back and go again <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i'll be back by then so we'll go we'll, we'll go after i get back from switzerland <laughs> i need a wee Oh my gosh, can we go back beyond those? Please, please, no, please, 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 it's not like we're close by. We're gonna go all the way there, and then there's another queue again, and then we're just waiting. No, but I've got I've got my um, Hello Fresh to cook when I get home. No one wants to eat your Hello Fresh. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Don't be hating on my Hello Fresh. You know you've been enjoying all the meals I've been cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Don't know even try it. About. Don't even try I it. <laughs> Natalia has been loving my my hello fresh meals that i've been cooking and honestly like all the meals i've cooked so far has been absolutely banging like shout out to hello fresh honestly like i've been cooking so much stuff i feel like a proper chef in the kitchen nowadays now that i'm um on this hello fresh thing but um yeah i've got one meal from this week that i need to cook because obviously i've got another um batch of meals coming on wednesday so i've already selected the meals that i want so I'm gonna go home. It's actually six o'clock right now. It is yeah, almost quarter past six. So by the time we get home, it'll still be early enough for me to like cook dinner. Oh guys, do you like my hair? No. Do you guys like my hair? I put my hair in two little two little bun buns today. With my two little bitty bitty bobs hanging down over here cute little hairstyle today you know what i'm saying let me know if you like it let me know if it's cute also guys let me know if you guys have gone to galleries and if you enjoy them and if you know any other galleries in the uk if you're from london um that you guys would recommend that me and Atani can go to feel free to let me know in the comments because i'm actually thinking galleries are a thing for me now and Natanya really enjoys them as well so why not okay something for us to do that we can enjoy together as What's mother and daughter Oh, looks good. Oh yeah, looks good. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next day. Oh, 
so it's monday it is the 31st of january i can't believe january is finally over i feel like january was dragging january was dragging but yes we finally reached the 31st of january praise the lord we made it through the first month of 2022 thank you jesus okay the new year starts tomorrow the 1st of february so happy new year in advance if i don't vlog tomorrow it's 3 45 in the afternoon i just finished filming the first video of my new series that I am starting on my channel talking about mother-daughter relationships um, so yeah I just got done filming the first installment of that series basically like the introduction to everything I just kind of introduced the series and talked about my own background and everything like that I actually got quite emotional I was not expecting to get so emotional um, but I tried to hold it in because girl why am I crying on YouTube I don't know <laughs> But yeah, I just finished filming the video. I had a cute little setup here on my sofa. Got my notes there. I had to grab some tissue because I started crying. Got my water bottle there and my mirror because I thought I messed up my makeup. But um, yeah, so just finished filming that. It's just me indoors. The sun just literally started shining out of nowhere and creating way too much light in the background of my videos. I had to like bring all the blinds down. One of the struggles of filming during the daytime is dealing with the natural sunlight that comes through. Hello. which is a good thing and a bad thing i think you have to kind of just know how to manage that and then also it getting dark really really quickly but thankfully yes for once i started filming in good time i was able to finish filming before the sun sets <laughs> if you've been watching my videos especially at my chatty videos you would know that i always start filming the video late in the day and then the sun starts setting halfway through my video so the rest of my video is usually dark <laughs> i'm actually glad that the sun is even setting later than normal it means that we're just getting closer and closer to spring and winter will soon be over what am i doing now i'm gonna get myself something to eat quickly because i haven't actually had anything to eat since breakfast this morning and then i'm gonna get started on editing this video because i really want Want the video to go up by wednesday thursday latest it shouldn't take too long to edit to be fair so yeah the video would have definitely been up before this vlog so you probably would have already watched it by now let me know what you think if you haven't already in the comments of that video and if you're looking forward to part two i actually have an instagram reel that i want to post today i did a reel sharing my five key things that i've learned from my years of being celibate. So I did that reel last week, Friday, I think it was. So I actually need to post it. What am I looking for? I'm looking for, I'm looking for the, the tripod for the camera, the hand tripod for the camera, which I think is in the Tanya's handbag because she was vlogging yesterday when we went out. Yesterday I was at my mum's house and I did a TikTok with her, which was so funny. Um, I need to post that TikTok too. But um, I actually realised that it's my mum's 60th birthday this year. Like, she's turning 60 this year. Her birthday is 10 days after mine. So mine's on the 19th of April and hers is on the 29th of April. So... I'm trying to organize like a quick family getaway with my siblings and my mum for her 60th. I've just been talking to my siblings in the siblings group chat that we have on WhatsApp. By the grace of God, we'll be able to do that in April. I was so shocked when she mentioned it to me that it's her 60th birthday this year. And I was like, what? 60 already? Like, wow. Like, my mum has actually lived a very, very long life, you know? And I pray that she continues to grow older you know and be able to reap the fruits of her labor with all of her children it's so crazy to just deep that our parents are actually getting older like as we're getting older our parents are getting older and it's just a lot to take in like it's just like wow like let me get on with editing this video um if i don't catch you later on today i will catch you guys tomorrow instead <laughs>
I'm not with nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody It's over, it's over, it's over Most of the things I don't wanna say I won't be around while you chase You'll try to come back when you faint I always want the truth, but it's that You got something real, not bad You want to get with me, stop Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't want to say I won't be around while you chase I always want the truth, but it's dangerous You got something real, not basic You wanna get with me, stop Hey guys, so today is Wednesday. I've literally spent most of today cleaning and editing. I have my unpacking unhealthy toxic mother-daughter relationships video. Part one going up this evening. It's currently about five o'clock. Yeah, I'm hoping that the video can be up by eight o'clock the latest. I'm currently exporting it but i had already exported a version of it earlier on today like way way earlier like this afternoon when i had finished editing it and everything i uploaded it to youtube and then i realized that the quality of the coloring of the video had reduced so much and i was like why does premiere pro do this like that's the software that i used to edit my videos i was like nah like it's really like taking away the color and i don't like the fact that it does that because when i was editing it on premiere pro the color is fine so literally how it looks in the clips from my camera is how it looks in the software when i'm editing but when i export the video it kind of desaturates the color and it does that with all of my videos but i've just not really took the time to try and like saw it out sometimes i'll like color correct but that's long yeah i don't know for some reason today i was like no nope, no nope, i've had enough like no we're not doing this anymore i want to figure out how to correct this like why does premiere pro keep desaturating the color of my videos when i export it in between my cleaning i ended up spending like a good two hours searching the internet searching youtube trying to learn and find out how to fix this issue and i was just watching loads of videos and i felt like my brain was gonna blow up because i'm not a technical person when it comes to things like this i just learned how to edit from youtube i do my basic editing <laughs> and that's it but when it comes to like all these other intricate details and technicalities and fixing this and that it's just bare jargon to me every tutorial video is literally jargon i was like can someone explain this to me as if I'm five years old? Like, please, like, come on. <laughs> but eventually I found a video that made sense to me. So I applied the steps that I saw in the video and it seems like it actually worked. I'm just waiting for the video to export. But the only issue is that it's taking so long for the video to export now. Like it's taking so long. So imagine a video that was ready and good to go from like 12 p.m. this afternoon. It's now after five o'clock and I'm still battling with the video just because of the coloring of it. So yeah, I'm hoping that it exports ASAP. It's saying two hours right now for a 20 minute video, which is absolutely crazy. And then I've got to upload it to YouTube. God knows how long that's gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take long. And then I can just like publish it. I'm gonna upload it today regardless. I'm hoping that it's not too late. Maybe eight o'clock latest is fine. 8.30 is kind of like pushing it. 
but because it is a short video it's not like one of my long vlogs i'm hoping that people will still be up and awake to watch it if not they'll just watch it tomorrow so that has been the day so far cleaning editing my video fighting with my video now um i need to cook as you guys saw my hello fresh came in today it usually comes on a wednesday also i mentioned earlier on in the vlog that me and patricia are off to a ski trip on sunday there's a list of things that i need to get done before sunday one i need to edit this vlog that you're watching right now so that it's ready for you guys to watch on sunday i need to get a pcr test because patricia said that apparently that we could do a lateral flow test since we're both double vaccinated but just to be on the safe side she thinks that we should do a pcr test and actually just pay for a test in case they try and tell us at the airport that a lateral flow test is not enough i need to book a pcr test go and get my pcr test wherever it is i'm gonna book it i need to go through all of my ski fits i was just watching melissa's wardrobe stories today she's in lapland i believe and she was saying that how it's like minus nine degrees degrees over there like it's actually freezing cold and i'm just like girl i need to make sure that i have layers and warm quality clothing okay warm quality ski outfits ski clothing to stay warm because this is my first time ever going on a holiday to somewhere that's cold okay i'm more of a on the beach sunny tropical palm trees that's my kind of vibe <laughs> but obviously going skiing is like a once in a lifetime thing i feel like it's something that we should all experience at some point in our lives if we can but i also just want to be warm i want to be prepared for the for the cold i want to be mentally and physically prepared for the cold i'll probably show you guys everything that i'm packing in my suitcase i'm hoping that all of my super dry um, pieces come by friday latest yeah it should be fun i'm actually excited other than being scared of it being cold i'm actually really really excited because i'm just like oh when i see people going skiing and it looks so pretty and everything's all white everything's covered in snow it looks all magical like winter wonderland all of that kind of stuff like it looks so cute if i can learn to ski a little bit while i'm there then great but honestly i'm there to look cute in the snow okay <laughs> let me turn the light on it's actually getting so dark the sun is setting outside as you guys can see so it's getting really dark in here let me put the light on one hold on <gasps> look how red the, the sunset looks hold on I need to turn the light back off look how red the sunset looks can you see it i don't know if the camera is really gonna do it justice no the camera is not picking it up the way that it is real life it's like a nice red orange ombre situation going on did you guys notice that my plant is now more awake since i watered it earlier on like it was looking so droopy this plant is so dramatic she is drama this leaf here was literally drooping all the way down here and now it's like raised up like yes i've been watered i'm alive i actually haven't got a name for this plant yet so we need to think of a name for this plant if you're new here all my house plants have been named by my subscribers your suggestions so this is a fairly new plant to the family and i still haven't named it which is quite bad we need a name for this one here just to let you know what her personality is like she is drama she's literally a drama queen so we need to find a name for her so i thought i'll show you guys what i got so far for my ski trip from super dry and pretty little thing i got these matte black goggles as you guys can see in there i don't know if you guys can see properly ski goggles i got this ski pants which fits so nice you guys will see when i have everything on during the trip they're just these really nice ski trousers it's got so many compartments and little bits and bobs to it that I'm just like, wow, I didn't realise ski pants needed all this. Yeah, as you can see, the super dry logo there. It's black and white with red detailing. It's got pockets in the crutch, like so many like compartments of it. This is what it looks like at the back really really cute and i love the fact that it's got a um a waist adjusting thing situation here so i can adjust the waist so i won't have any gap going on at the back i can literally just pull this 
and attach it to the velcro and it literally just tightens the trousers around your waist which is really really good when i tried it on it felt so comfortable and so nice and i feel like it was still giving me shape do you know what i mean like i didn't feel like i was you know just wearing some big massive trousers like it actually feels like i'm wearing something fitted which is really really nice and then i've got this coat the ski coat this really really cute ski coat that i'm gonna wear with this because it's kind of matches with the white um and it's got the the cute hood here this is so so warm and i also love the way that it fits because it comes in at the waist it kind of shows off your figure without making you feel like you're drowning in padded clothing <laughs> this detailing here which is so cute got the super dry logo on the side there again it's got loads of compartments for your phone your keys whatever it is that you need it's got this inner sleeve bit where you put your thumb through so yeah this is one of my ski fits which i actually cannot wait to wear i feel like this is gonna look really really cute i got this really thick woolly scarf from pretty little thing like it's actually such a nice scarf it's got this zigzag situation going on here and then on the inside it's got the leopard print i want to do a picture where like i put the scarf over my head basically inspired by this picture that i saw of rihanna congratulations on the baby coming girl rihanna's literally my bestie but she just doesn't know i exist i also got these gloves well they're mittens fur on the inside i also have some actual ski gloves coming from super dry but i got these as well this is my ski suit from pretty little thing that i also got this ski suit is literally so friggin cute it is so nice look at it guys look at this ski suit look at it plt ski it's got this cute black fur situation going on on the hood it's a full one piece it's got the belt buckle thing to tighten at the waist so you can literally just like snatch the waist there it's also lined underneath as well we've got loads of pockets and honestly when i tried this on i felt like i was going to the moon but also in a very cute way as well <laughs> I literally looked like I was going to the moon astronaut but still serving body okay um, almost forgot that I also have this ski jacket from pretty little thing basically a cropped ski jacket super super cute PLT ski only had it on for like five minutes and I was just like wow this jacket is actually warm like I feel hot in the jacket there was actually a pair of boots that's kind of like this beigey creamy color that I wanted to get from PLT but it it was sold out so i'm gonna see if i can try and get a different one from somewhere else but yeah guys that's all i've gotten so far not really a lot although we're only going for a few days i feel like i kind of need more stuff <laughs> so i'm really hoping that my super dry bits come by friday and then i feel like i'll have everything i need there's a few other bits i want to buy like i want to get like some thick socks from primark some gloves to wear inside my ski gloves and then just like some little travel essential bits and bobs that i need to grab as well i'm gonna book my pcr test tonight so hopefully i'll be able to go and get that done either tomorrow or friday uh, <coughs> damn i am so tired i need to actually lie down for like five minutes <laughs> before i start cooking my hello fresh meal i should actually be used to these um last minute trips with patricia because it's literally like just the way that she does things <laughs> always lastminute.com and rushing and running around every time i go on holiday with patricia so i feel like i should know the drill by now actually if any of you guys have gone skiing before let me know in the comments let me know what your experience was like um and if there's anything that i definitely need to bring or definitely need to be aware of when going skiing obviously by the time this video goes up i would have already kind of left actually this video this vlog will go up on sunday and i'm flying out on sunday so while i'm on my ski trip i can read the comments from this video but obviously if there's anything that i should have been bringing with me that you guys are recommending it would have been too late <laughs> But it doesn't matter. It could be helpful to anyone else that is planning to go skiing in the future. If I decide to go skiing again, 
in the future it will still come in handy so leave a comment let me know if there's anything like any essentials that i need or anything i need to know has anyone visited geneva before or anywhere else in switzerland for skiing or whatever and obviously i'll be vlogging the trip for you guys oh Hiya. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yep, sure. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. Guys, the rest of my super dry stuff literally just came. <laughs> oh my gosh, they must have sent it by um same day Korea. Right, so I got my thick socks. I got myself some super dry hipster panties. Let me show you guys these leggings to basically wear underneath my ski outfit. I also got this hoodie, really, really cute. Guys, look at this coat. I friggin' love. Got it in a size eight and it's really nice and padded on the inside as well. I just know that this coat is gonna keep me warm because super dry does not play about keeping you warm, okay? With their coats, with their jackets. I think these are items that they picked in store and just basically delivered to me straight from the store. Anything else they probably didn't have in store is probably being ordered and that might come on Friday. We gonna ski, ski, we gonna ski, we gonna ski, ski, we gonna ski, we gonna ski, ski, we gonna ski, hey, we gonna ski, ski, we gonna ski, we gonna ski. We gon' ski, we gon' ski, ski, we gon' ski, we gon' ski, ski, we gon' ski. This is what I've cooked for today's meal. I did the pen beef ragu with cheesy garlic bread. Cooking seems actually fun as opposed to just cooking because you need to eat. Shout out to HelloFresh. <laughs> Sometimes, but not majorly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to yeah. yeah. It's so weird when other someone else is doing it. Yeah, I know. I'm used to doing it myself. Yeah. Because you've got to do like Latin yeah, protests all the time. Oh, bite my tongue. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Five, like, ten seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, do you need to do another one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, the upside. Okay. Okay. That was so intense. Oh my gosh. Whew. You guys can't even see me. I felt like she was digging the thing into my brain. PCR test done. Um, I was so late because I couldn't actually find it. I went inside Westfields instead of staying on the outside bit because literally outside. But yeah, I should get my results by tomorrow because it's a next day test. But I feel like some next day's ones come on the same day gosh you guys really can't see me like it's so dark from this angle okay now i'm gonna go back into westfield <laughs> i need to go to primark i thought i'd quickly go and get all the little bits and bobs that i need to get i want to get like some basics like some 
long sleeve tops to wear underneath like my jumper maybe some leggings although I have I feel like I've got enough leggings but whoever has enough leggings <laughs> got these um long sleeve tops here for two pounds which I think would be really good to like layer up with I really like this color I don't know why I'm obsessed with green at the moment the navy blue one is nice as well definitely a black is necessary those of you who follow me on instagram would have seen me in these disney fits light pinky reddish one the green khaki one and also the light gray one you can see some of the bags as well that i got from primark that they sent me so yes disney babes they actually have some cute snow boots waterproof boots on sale here for 15 quid but I already have boots coming from Pretty Little Thing, I think. Hopefully they should come, but they're similar to these. This is how you know that fashion just repeats itself. Because the way that we used to wear these back in secondary school and primary school, like, these are so old school. <laughs> Nothing is new under the sun, literally. Since they're coming back in fashion, I'm going to go back to wearing these, mate. <laughs> Guys, I said I was coming to just come and get a couple of basics. Um, why have I picked up so much stuff? <laughs> I now have a whole basket. I need to get out of here. I actually need to get out of here. Okay, y'all. I'm back home now, guys. Oh my gosh, I look so crazy. Don't watch that. I'm wearing a hat today because I need to remove my wig. I was hoping to take it off tonight and then not glue it back on until Saturday so that it's fresh for my flight on Sunday. But I just remembered that it's Patricia's birthday and tomorrow, Friday, we're going out to dinner. So I need a wig on my head. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, Patricia's getting her PCR test done tomorrow. The hotel that we're staying in, it looks so pretty. I, obviously you guys will get to see it, but from the pictures I've seen, it looks so nice and it's giving like that cottage, cozy kind of vibe like you know what i mean like it's giving snowy um cottage vibes oh who's that oh that's patricia yeah the hotel looks so nice the pictures of the hotel is kind of like giving me inspiration for the type of outfits that i need to pack which is great i still cannot believe that i went into primark to buy gloves simple gloves this is what i came out of primark with like what is what is going on? What is going on? Oh, this top I bought in um, H and M. I don't know who asked me to go into H and M after I came out of Primark, but this was on sale for six pounds. It's ribbed. Cause you guys know me already. Like when it comes to ribbed clothing, I literally cannot say no. By the way, I did not buy any gloves, so the actual reason for me going into Primark, I did not even achieve that goal. I don't actually think I need to buy any gloves. I think I've got enough to be fair. But I wanted to see if I can find gloves to wear inside my um, ski gloves. But to be honest, there's no need. I got these. Um, fur lined leggings they're these ones they come in black as well these are six pounds and they have this fur lining on the inside which is gonna definitely keep me warm i thought this would be a good thing to either wear underneath my ski outfit or to just wear basically like just a nice gray thick pair of leggings um i don't even know what shoes i'm bringing at this point other than the one that i bought yesterday um, and my where's my pretty little thing boots? I have black pretty little thing boots that are meant to come. What what that was meant to come yesterday? Where the hell is that? It. I really hope that comes today because girl. Oh, guys, I'm rushing. It's Patricia's birthday, and I'm literally like so late. It's almost nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock basically. It's meant to be at the restaurant for eight o'clock, but thankfully in the group chat, other people are late as well. So it's not just me for once. But I actually do need to hurry up because I still got quite a way to go. I literally just flung on this curly wig. I didn't want to have to glue on my wig that you guys have seen me in this vlog wearing because I took it off yesterday. Like I said, I was gonna do like I needed to take it off and then glue it back on but i didn't want to glue it back on today i wanted to glue it on fresh 
for the ski trip on Sunday. Because of Patricia's birthday dinner today, I obviously needed to have some kind of wig on my head. So I thought, let me just throw on this wig that doesn't require me to actually glue on like the whole lace and everything. It is a full lace wig, but I basically glued it on as if it's a five by five or a closure basically. So I've only glued from here to here of the actual whole lace. Everything else I've just kind of tucked it and put some pins there, you know. Just a quick thing to just throw on my head so I can just leave. I'm layering my Charlie Red perfume, which I really, really like. Ooh, just fade it in my face. With my favorite perfume, which is, well, I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it's a, it's a favorite, definitely. My Mugler Alien perfume, which Natalia got, me, got for me for uh, Mother's Day last year. I need to go, okay? I'm about to throw on my jacket. Oh, I didn't show you guys my outfit. So, I'm wearing this cow print dress. I'm wearing it with this bag and these boots. <laughs> I don't know if we're doing anything after dinner, but i kind of just dressed for dinner i don't think i'm gonna actually vlog because we're going to this really fancy restaurant and i don't want people to be looking at me crazy with my camera out and stuff like that and also there's gonna be so many of her other friends there and i don't know how comfortable like everyone's gonna be with me like having a camera and stuff like that I just it just doesn't seem like it's necessary. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna wear my vintage jacket. And it's from a, it's a thrift store find that I got years ago. And I think it was like one pound. <laughs> this jacket was, this coat was one pound from a thrift store. Let me show you guys. I'm here doing show and tell when I should be leaving. Ugh, this hair is so big. Like it's huge. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will catch you guys in the next one, which will be the ski trip vlog, of course. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications as well so you don't miss when I upload. And again, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching it, okay? All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.